Good morning, Libra. Welcome to your reading. Here we are again. Sun, moon, rising. What's going on for the sign of Libra? Take the bits that resonate, leave the rest, as always. Well, you've been doing a lot of reevaluating, Libra. You've been weighing up your pros and cons about a situation you're in, and you're about to make a decision. Now, some of you will physically leave the situation you're in. You feel you poured enough energy and effort into it. You know, there's a lot of personal changes. You're changing your perspective. And there's an opportunity here presenting itself. You know, which will, you'll give it some thought. You know, you give it a lot of thought and then make a decision. You're certainly not rushing into it, but you do feel that there's a situation here, whether it's an, on a personal level or in work, has come is coming to a conclusion. I'm getting for the past few years for some of you that you've been kind of distracted all the time, either through circumstances, being busy or through travel or whatever. But I feel here a missed opportunity from the past is coming back around. And now you have the time and energy and you're kind of in the right frame of emotional and mental balance where you can feel you can make a good decision. There's a lot of deliberation going on here. Now, this could be a marriage that you put a lot of effort into or, you know, been dating somebody or living, even living with somebody for a very long time. But, you know... You could even be renewing marriage vows here because, you know, the, the universe is about to grant your wish. You're finally coming into harmony with somebody. But for a lot of you, there's something new. Now, if you want to put a star sign to this, this is Sagittarius. This is Aquarius, okay? You do feel somebody is very, very overbearing. As I say, there's a choice here between two situations, two different people for some of you. There's a soulmate energy around you. I'm also getting for one of you that where there was somebody around you where you wanted different things. And... You've been trying to get on the same page with this person and efforts you've put, been putting in are finally paying off. This person is starting to bend a little bit. Your perspective is changing and kind of, without even consciously trying, you kind of let go of your emotional grip and control and then it seems to come right. You know, in the past where you tried to control it, tried to control it, the more you did it, the more it slipped through your fingers. Then it's kind of like you gave up. And now, you know, kind of miraculously, by itself, you, you're finally coming into harmony with the people around you. Mm. But the thing is now, some of you have got your heart set on something new. Mm, hence the drama. Hence the drama. Yeah, but in sudden turn of events. Like I say, it's what a turnaround. There's, there's news coming in. Um, because you've been on this karmic wheel in the past and you've been putting your life on hold, you know, not really living your life, but living living the life on somebody else's terms... Okay, there's been a power switch here. You have been feeling stuck. You've not been trusting your... You've had trust issues with your judgment. And some of you have not trusted your intuition. But I'm kind of getting somebody from the past. Now, for a lot of you, you perhaps parted from this person. Uh, but there's... After multiple attempts, certainly... The last decade or so for some of you has not been good trying to get stability with this situation, this person. And 
it's finally coming round to you. Instead of being the follower, you're now becoming the leader. Mm -hmm. In England, we say the worm has turned. You know, there's a situational person here who's finally losing their grip on you. Yeah. There could be legal issues. Some of you, there's a marriage with you or the person you're dealing with. I'm getting this is more you. you know, there's certainly a long-term connection where you, you've kind of, a lot of you, has got into your power. This King of Swords is you. You know, you're basing decisions now, not with your emotions. The emotions are there, but you're not letting them get in the way of your decisions. You're, you're basing this on logic and your history with this situation. And you're beginning to realise, you know, that the answers, you've had the answers within yourself all the time. You just need to look. You know, truth and clarity, communication coming in, feelings coming out into the open. You know. This is not just who you want to be with, but literally a situation or a situation where you want to be. It's It's who do you want to commit to? You know, a lot of you are going inside yourselves and asking yourself, what do I really want? You know, why am I in this situation now? Why have I stayed in this situation now? You know, these are questions you're beginning to ask yourself. Yeah, finally, you, as I say, you and somebody is coming onto the same page here. You're making a choice and you're following your heart. There is a very emotional offer here. As I say, there is legalities involved for a lot of you, especially if there's travel. You are heading for success. You know this decision will bring you success. But the reason why you've been avoiding it is because you know once you make this decision, there'll be no turning back. It'll be very hard to backtrack. Spiritually and emotionally, all this disturbance you're feeling and all this sway of emotions is the energies around you are realigning and your life's going in a very, very different direction to what you thought. This is why it feels like a washing machine emotionally. Mm -hmm. Like I say, you could well be in a connection, in a relationship now, on whatever level, either marriage or living with somebody, even dating somebody. But going forward, this change is already taking place. Going forward, there's a decision coming. I feel a lot of you have already made this decision and now it's just acting on it. But the future looks bright for you. There's harmony coming in. Of course, you'll have to work at it. You know, it won't just magically drop in your lap. You know, you have to work at it any relationship worth having but what I'm saying is here there's a relationship you're willing to put the effort in going forward and adapt as it goes along and not become stagnated and complacent with it thanks very much for watching bye bye for now